Jaws and Claws. A single toad that can kill your dog with one lick. A snake that eliminated 90% of an entire island's wildlife in just decades. These aren't monsters from science fiction. They're invasive species, and they're reshaping our planet one ecosystem at a time. Right now, as you watch this video, billions of these biological weapons are advancing across continents, leaving extinction in their wake. Today, we're counting down four of the most dangerous invasive animals on Earth. Species so destructive, they've earned the title of ecological supervillains. And I guarantee by the end of this video, you'll never look at nature the same way again. Do you have a most feared or respected invasive species? Let's see if yours made this list. At number four, the Burmese python has turned Florida's Everglades into a house of horrors. These serpentine giants, growing up to 20 feet long, have achieved something that should be impossible. They've made alligators afraid. When Hurricane Andrew hit Florida in 1992, it wasn't just the human infrastructure that was devastated. Pet pythons escaped or were released, and these Asian giants found themselves in paradise. Warm, wet Florida with abundant prey and zero natural predators. The results have been catastrophic beyond imagination. Between 1997 and 2012, Everglades populations of raccoons, possums, and bobcats crashed by 88 to 99% in areas invaded by pythons. Let me repeat that, 99%. Entire species virtually wiped out in just 15 years. These aren't just big snakes, they're ecosystem erasers. A 19-foot python was found with an entire adult deer in its stomach. They're eating everything birds, mammals, even other apex predators like alligators. By eliminating small and medium prey, they're also starving native predators like panthers and raptors. Florida now considers the Burmese python its public enemy number one for conservation. Wildlife officials organize python bounty hunts, removing thousands of snakes, but the breeding population, possibly tens of thousands strong, continues to expand. For humans, encounters are increasingly common and terrifying. These snakes regularly appear in suburban yards and have eaten family pets. A full-grown python could potentially kill an adult human by constriction, and there have been fatalities involving captive pythons. But as devastating as a 20-foot snake can be, our next entries prove that sometimes the smallest killers are the most dangerous. At number three, the red imported fire ant proves that size doesn't matter when you're talking about deadly invasives. These quarter-inch terrorists have turned the American South into a minefield. When disturbed, fire ants don't just sting once. Grab onto your skin with their mandibles and sting repeatedly, injecting venom that creates burning pustules. Each ant can sting multiple times. When you step on a nest, hundreds swarm simultaneously. In 2006, fire ants swarmed a bedridden nursing home patient in Florida, contributing to her death. These coordinated killers have also been documented killing confined livestock and pets. For allergic individuals, multiple stings can trigger fatal anaphylactic shock. But they're not just dangerous to individual victims. Fire ants are ecological bulldozers, wiping out entire communities of native insects. They've been documented climbing trees to raid songbird nests warming and killing hatchling birds and reptiles. Their presence can completely eliminate native ant communities and countless other invertebrates. They also invade electrical equipment, causing short circuits and fires. In infested areas, people can't enjoy parks, yards, or outdoor activities without constant vigilance. Children playing outside risk hundreds of painful stings if they accidentally disturb a hidden nest. From tiny terrorists to silent assassins, Next invader's been perfecting the art of taking out rival species and grew to dominant an entire island. At number two, the brown tree snake achieved something that should be impossible. It single-handedly collapsed an entire island's biodiversity. When these nocturnal hunters accidentally arrived in Guam after World War II, they discovered a predator's paradise. Guam's birds and lizards had evolved in isolation for millions of years without snakes. They had no fear, no defenses, no survival instincts against these new predators. It was ecological slaughter. The numbers are staggering. Brown tree snakes eliminated 12 native bird and lizard species completely. Nine of Guam's 12 native forest bird species were wiped off the face of the earth. 
Species that had survived ice ages, volcanic eruptions, and climate changes for millennia were eliminated in just a few decades. At their peak, there were over 20 snakes per hectare. Imagine walking through a forest where every tree held multiple deadly predators. The ecological collapse was so complete that it triggered cascading effects throughout the ecosystem. With pollinating birds and fruit bats eliminated, plant reproduction crashed, seeds weren't being dispersed, flowers weren't being pollinated, the very foundation of the forest ecosystem began crumbling. But the snakes didn't stop with wildlife. They invaded human infrastructure on a massive scale, turning power stations into snake highways. When snakes contact electrical equipment, they cause short circuits that can trigger island-wide blackouts. Imagine living on a tropical island where the power goes out regularly because snakes are literally climbing through your electrical grid. Families lose air conditioning, hospitals lose power, businesses shut down, all because of invasive reptiles. While brown tree snakes aren't typically aggressive toward humans, they'll bite when threatened. Their mild venom can be dangerous to infants, and Guam records dozens of snake bite incidents annually, creating genuine public fear. Today, Guam's forests are biological ghost towns, beautiful to look at but eerily quiet. No dawn chorus of birds, no native wildlife calls, just the rustle of invasive snakes and empty trees. It's a preview of what ecological collapse looks like. But as devastating as the brown tree snake has been, our next species has achieved something even more terrifying. They've reshaped an entire continent. At number one, the cane toad represents the ultimate invasive species nightmare. Toxic, prolific, and unstoppable. When 101 cane toads were released in Queensland in 1935, nobody predicted they would become Australia's most devastating biological invasion. These aren't ordinary amphibians, they're living chemical weapons. Cane toads secrete potent toxins from glands behind their eyes, turning every predator interaction into a potential death sentence for native wildlife. The toxin is so powerful it can kill a full-grown dog within 15 minutes. Cats, snakes, lizards, crocodiles, anything that tries to eat a cane toad dies. But here's the horror. Australia's native predators had never encountered toxic prey. For millions of years, if something moved and was smaller than you, it was safe to eat. The ecological carnage has been beyond imagination. When cane toads invaded new areas, populations of goannas, monitor lizards that had survived since the age of dinosaurs, crashed by up to 90%. Northern quolls, cat-sized marsupial carnivores, have been driven to near extinction across vast areas of their range. But the real horror is in the numbers. Cane toads produce up to 35,000 eggs per female per breeding season. In optimal conditions, that's hundreds of thousands of potential offspring from a single pair. Their reproductive capacity is so extreme, it borders on the biologically obscene. They've spread across northern Australia at a rate of 40 to 60 kilometers per year, like a toxic tsunami advancing across the continent. The invasion front is still moving, still expanding, still poisoning new ecosystems as it spreads. For humans, cane toads represent a clear and present danger. Dozens of pet deaths are reported annually in Australia, as dogs and cats encounter these toxic invaders in their own backyards. Children have been sickened by contact with toad toxin, leading to public health advisories. The toxin is so dangerous that at least one human death in Australia has been attributed to cane toad poisoning, a case involving mistaken identity or experimental ingestion. Emergency rooms in northern Australia now stock specific antidotes for cane toad exposure. But the psychological impact may be even worse. Imagine living in a landscape where your pets can't safely explore your own yard, when native wildlife disappears year after year, or even taking an evening walk means watching for toxic invaders. Cane toads have fundamentally altered Australia's ecology and human experience. They've proven that a single invasive species can poison an entire continent, literally and figuratively. They represent biological invasion at its most successful and most terrifying. The invasion continues today with cane toads pushing into Western Australia and threatening the continent's remaining toad-free ecosystems. They're living proof that sometimes the most successful invaders are the ones that turn the rules of nature into weapons of mass destruction. From toxic toads to ecosystem-erasing snakes, 
These biological invaders prove that the natural world's greatest threats often come not from climate or habitat loss, but from species in the wrong place at the wrong time. The invasion isn't over, it's accelerating. Global trade and human movement continue to shuffle species around the planet like cards in a deadly deck. The next biological catastrophe could be hatching in a cargo container right now. These four species have rewritten the rules of ecology and collapsed ecosystems. They remind us that in nature, the smallest changes can have the most catastrophic consequences. What's the most dangerous invasive species in your area? We have more of these invasive species coming up in a future video. Have you encountered any of these ecological supervillains? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more incredible stories from the natural world's front lines.